Hi guys, welcome back again. Today I'm playing a horror game called The Survey. Don't know anything about it again. Just gonna just play it. Apparently it's something similar to like PT. You're in a house and you're walking around and stuff's happening. So, um, yeah. Let's just get on with it, will we? Let's get on with it. raining. can hear something swinging already. What is it? Is it a corpse on the stairwell? Or is it just some dodgy light that needs fixing? E to interact. Oh, probably don't want to turn the light off. Aha, uh -huh. got a torch now. You have a look in here, is there anything in there? Nothing in there. Big TV. Oh, oh it's a light. God, I thought it was a box just levitating then. I thought I've already found the problem in this place. Can't open those. Can't open those. Can I open these drawers? Oh, I can open in there. The bathroom. Oh. Anything under there? No. Can't turn that on. Oh, you can turn that on. Shower curtain won't open. Although it is moving slightly. Okay, nothing in there. Um... Shall I just see if I can investigate up here quick? Okay, that's locked. Who throws the t-shirts all over the floor? In the laundry room of all places as well. Guys, really slow turning the... Turning around with the torch. <laughs> Very slow. Oh. Sat on the carpet. A broken chair. It looks like leaves or something all over the place. <laughs> it's a nice room, isn't it? Nice flat screen TV on top of the uh, chest of drawers there. What's this? And then you got broken chairs and an old picnic blanket on the floor with leaves all over it. Must be the kids messing around again. Ooh, what's this? You must have to pick up the key, surely. Can I turn my flashlight? Oh, you can. Oh, it's not let me pick up the key, so maybe I don't need it then. Seems a bit odd. <sighs> the same t-shirt, four of them. Let's go downstairs, that must be where i got to go. That's where the sound's coming from. Yeah, that's the noise. The tap's running. Use the cell phone by pressing this base button. Locked, enter five digit passcode. I would do if I knew what it was. Um, what was this thing over here first? It won't let me click on that yet, so. Press P to. 
documents. Mary Walker. I haven't written in this journal in a while, but I thought I'd write something down. Right now, Lilith is six years old. While Marcus is, I think, four, the other day she was painting a picture and looked fairly abstract at first. Just a blend of seemingly, seemingly random shapes, uh, shades of hues. After making dinner, I came back to find her replicating a painting we had in our kitchen. It was remarkable. I haven't told Joseph yet, but I think Lilith could end up being a very special girl. I asked her where she learned to paint that way, but she didn't respond. In a, she responded in a confusing manner, as if she was doing, as if she was doing, as if she was doing was casually playing around with paint. That's correct, that there. She managed to almost completely replicate the artwork, including even the smallest details of the piece. I'll definitely have to keep an eye out on her. Keep an eye on her talent. Right now, Joseph and I are both working parents. Financially, we're doing well. No real troubles. No family issues either. Besides his drinking problem. <laughs> With, I'll finish this entry up by cook. Uh, I'll finish this entry up after I cook dinner. Mary Walker. God. Cannot read today. Although there was a mistake in that. Right then, now what? Can I read this now? It's got a big question mark floating above it. Master bedroom, other bedroom, living room, look for the channel numbers, unlock it quickly, she's watching you, don't leave the static on for too long. It makes her ears bleed. Right now she's upstairs waiting for you. No rush then. Her, e her ears can bloody bleed then, can't they? I'm busy. Roman numerals everywhere. D I so I X. What's that? Six. If that is Roman numerals or it's something else. Right then, what have we got to do? Go upstairs, what? Master Regiment, look for the channel numbers. Unlock it quickly. How do I get the phone up again? Oh space bar, okay. Oh, I forgot what rooms it was now. What is it? I know I've got to go upstairs. Master bedroom, other bedroom, and living room. Right, well, I'm in the living room now, aren't I? This would appear to be the living room, I would have thought, but there's no... Ah. Oh, shit. 97. Shh. Um... Hang on, I don't know which one's which though. Do I have to do it in this order? Master bedroom. That was 97. Oh, hang on. Is it... Which one's the master bedroom? Maybe this one, I think. Oh, keep pushing the wrong buttons. Channel bloody out, can't let's get that off. Eight. Um God. Twenty nine. Oh shit, better turn this off right. I don't know. It says it makes her ears bleed or something. Oh, is it 8? 29. Let's go delete again. So 8. Was it 8? Oh, my memory is terrible. I've forgotten the one downstairs now.
Oh. Eight. Twenty-nine. What was it? Forty-nine, wasn't it? Ninety-seven. Eight. Oh, what was it? Eight. What? <laughs> Shit. Is it twenty-nine or thirty-nine? I've forgotten that number now. Crikey! Oh, blimey. I'm just gonna. I'm playing this half drunk, so I can't remember. Jesus wept. Let's go back upstairs again. <sighs> Sorry about this. That's what happens. Right, eight. <laughs> I, I don't even know. Like, I guess this is the master bedroom. It's probably best I write these down anyway, because I might be... Uh, Doing it in the wrong order or something. This is okay. This is study, so I'll keep pushing the wrong buttons. Twenty-nine. La 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 la. <sighs> She's watching me, someone. But who? Why? And where is she now? She's probably in the attic, plucking her toenails. Ninety-seven. The riddle has been resolved. Eight. Twenty-nine. Ninety-seven. Hey, closet. Anyway, closet. Looks like I've got to go in the closet for something. <laughs> oh. Right. Which closet, though? This one? Let me just check the uh, phone again. Yeah, it looks like this one. So there's something in here that I need then. Can't click on anything in here, it's just boxes and clothes. hear a dripping noise in here. I don't know if that's uh outside or in the room. Can't tell his light switch on, can I? Let me just go check if there's another closet. There could be another closet that's identical to that one. Oh what was that? Oh, I saw something. That doesn't open. This is just a washroom. That doesn't open. What's that? Oh, it closes. Nothing in there. It will not let me pick up that key. Oh, I think this was locked earlier. <laughs> Is anyone in there? Blast it. 
blast it to buggery. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Let me get my phone out again. Am I supposed to play music? Am I supposed to have a dance? Am I supposed to go to bed? What am I supposed to do? Something in here. I can hear like a noise in here. Like a dripping noise. But I'm clicking on everything and nothing's happening. Um. Oh, hang on. Don't need that door. It just says closet help. Hey, it's your manager, Mark. Are you available for work this weekend? Emma can't come in. So it will only be you and Katie. It's going to be a pretty busy weekend, and you should use the extra hand. Thanks. She could use the extra hand. <laughs> Attempt number 89264. 89264. If you are receiving this, you have been chosen to participate in a nationwide survey. Qualified to be a representative of a specific demographic. Continue, please proceed to the survey app found on your mobile device. Hey, do I have to do this? I don't know. Say yes. Is anyone with you in your house currently? Are you a college student? I don't know. I guess so of all the stupid clothes that are laying around. Do you enjoy being home alone? I do sometimes. Does it ever feel creepy when you're at home alone? No. Have you ever experienced a phenomenal feeling if you're being watched by it? In reality, you're not. No. Individuals report this is phenomenon quite frequently, especially when around certain paintings, dolls, or statues. Are any of these objects in your house? <coughs> How many televisions are currently in your house? Fucking hell, was it three at least? Thank you for your participation. Please take a short break. We will, we will continue this survey shortly. Alright then, well, well, let me get rid of it now. What am I supposed to do? Is there a light switch in here even? <gasps> Jesus H. Where did that come from? And yeah, let's just turn all these lights on. I running around in the dark, like a like a div. And I could have just turned all these lights on. There was a smash somewhere. But I don't know where. Can't open that. Is there not a switch for this? See, there's all these numbers here. What does it mean? I'm just going to turn all these lights on. Maybe it's a password to get into the computer or something. Another one there. Two. SD2. <sighs> what 
lot smashed. It must be downstairs. Beer cans. Go. Eight. God, it's so slow turning this torch around. Oh, TV's on. That's not good. Waste electricity. Oh, this is on again as well. Waste electricity, woman. Oh, there's a question mark in the fireplace as well. Oh, there's a statue there now. <clears throat> uh, Lilith Walker began painting when she was six years old, though only being 12... This child prodigy is able to recreate masterpieces with only rudimentary materials. The child belongs to the local Walker household. Her father, Joseph Walker, a construction worker, along with Mary Walker working as a secretary at a law firm. According to Mary and Joseph, Lilith loved to paint and expressed her talent early. She was also stated that she practices anywhere from five to ten hours a day just to perfect her craft. Her artwork is gaining popularity as demand for her pieces and replicant replications have skyrocketed recently. Although she enjoys painting, she also plays a, ver plays a variety of instruments such as the violin, piano and cello. On top of painting, she also enjoys... Backgammon. Turning on TVs and wasting electricity, that's her last hobby. 97. How do I turn it off? I've forgotten now. Oh, yeah. Now what? <laughs> Bloody statue. I don't know if that was there before. I wasn't really paying attention. Has this changed? No. Oh, it turns on the lights there. What's that in the frying pan? A nice lump of steak. Well. Look, the plant's moving. Jesus. How is that still moving? Oh, there's a door here. Can I go in here? No. Oh. Well, what do I do now then? I don't understand what the point of the closet was. A photo in the closet, unless there's something in there. Also, didn't I? I thought I left that light on when I went out of here. What? Oh. Let's close that for a minute. She's not in here, is she? Or whatever it is. I hear weeping. Let me have a drink. What did that thing say that I picked up? 
Um. <coughs> I asked mum to get me a diary after my first painting was old. I just thought it would be nice to write down some of my thoughts. Mum and dad want me to keep painting, but I don't know if I should. Oh, shut up. I can't concentrate with this whining. Seems like all they want to do is make money from it. The reporter came in the other day. Let me turn the volume down. <laughs> Jesus. I'll concentrate with that. <laughs> shut up, you stupid cow. The reporter came in the other day, uh, his name was Rick Driver, and he asked a bunch of questions. Apparently, we're going to be in an article in the local news. Mum said it would help with my publicity. I hardly even like painting, but when whatever makes them happy, I guess. I actually like playing the violin and piano way more than the painting. I mean, it's okay, but it's not something I enjoy doing that much. I just hope that... It I, I just hope they include Marcus in this article. I know how much he loves writing. It seems like mum and dad barely even pay any attention to him. This is my fault. Maybe he hates me. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll trip, fall down the stairs and break my arm. So I can't paint anymore, at least for a while. Lilith. Well, that crying stopped eventually. Go spug it off. They could be bothered to wait for me to come out of that room, I guess. If it's a ghost. I don't know what it is. Probably gonna go back downstairs now. I just thought I'd check up here just in case. <sighs> up and down, up and down I go. Just give me a stair lift. I'm gonna be knackered in a minute. Oh. oh, it's like a light reflection on the glass. I thought it was like a skeleton or something looking at me outside. Skeletor. What's that say? Pizza. Christ, the size of that pizza! Oh my god, the size of the box at least. Anyway, Jesus. Almost goes up to the top of the kitchen work surface. Where are you, spirit of darkness? Should I just turn all the TVs on? Maybe I've got to do that. I still don't know what these things are. Sixty-one. I'm just going to leave all the TVs on. Make her bloody ears burn or bleed or whatever it was. Oh, I thought I saw something then. It was just the, the banister shadow. Yeah, she keeps turning this fucking light off, doesn't she? Or he. Could be a bloke. Don't know. Just going to turn them all on. <clears throat> I'll have a look at those numbers in a minute, but there's nothing to even... Uh, use those numbers for. It's not like it's a padlock or anything that requires a key code. This is still locked. Oh. Well, this light was definitely off when I, I mean on when I left this room. Turned any of the lights off. Oh, I didn't turn this TV on. Ah, oh, what am I supposed to do then? Oh. We need you to check it. We need you to check if your bathroom appliances are working. Specifically the sink and the light switches. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances are working properly. Oh, yeah. 
Did you notice anything strange? Nope. Oh, I put yes. Oh, it said hide, and now I'm still doing this survey thing. <laughs> Do I stop this and hide and or what? Do you enjoy listening to rock? Yeah. What is this? Let's put mm, so so. Oh. Do you enjoy listening to classical music? Do you remember s your sister's taste in music? No. Do you remember her playing any songs on her violin? Nope. Okay. Can I turn this off now? It sounds irritating. And it's making me want to go to the toilet. I still haven't seen anything in this yet. Yes, I'm listening to it, or I'm listening to it. Can I skip? Oh, something moving in there. The shadow's moving in there on the floor. Well, this thing's spinning now. Can I turn this radio off now? I'm going to turn these TVs off. They're getting on my nerves. I can hear them fuzzing all over the place. Where's the light switch for this room as well? Let's get that on. Still walking around half in the dark. Yes, 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 I've heard it now. Oh, I can't turn it off. Let me check my phone again. Something mischievous is going on in this room, though. Well, I still can't. Let's just walk around and maybe I'm going to trigger something. Leave the lights on, woman. <sighs> glare. So, I listen to it. Now what? Downstairs again. That's still locked. 
It's so dark. Oh, hang on. What was that? It's a flicker of light. Oh, the song's been. Oh, shit. Something's, something's occurring. Oh. I can't move either. I'm kind of stuck. Ah! Stupid bitch. Anticipated it really. Why did she run at me and then just not do anything? What was that I picked up? God, these letters are so long. So my sister gave me a journal, even though my mum said no. She she said that after her first painting sold. Mum would get her first few, get a few, get get her a few. <laughs> she gave me one of them, so I'm kind of happy about it. Nobody really knows what I'm really into writing, besides my sister. This reporter met my family the other day. After cleaning the house, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, wiping the floors clean and sweeping up all the broken beer glasses, from dad I assume, and lastly, v after vacuuming the house, I was excited to meet the reporter. I saw him pull into the drive, the drive away, <laughs> driveway, pen and notebook in hand. As I saw him get out of the car, my dad told me that I had to stay in my room. I tried to stay. I tried to ask him for a reason, but just, but he just sort of pushed me in and slammed the door shut. The door just before closing shut struck my nose and I started bleeding. It was really the first time I've ever seen that much blood. It tasted very metallic, as if someone took a cup of water and dropped a bunch of coins in there, then drank it. I never got to meet that reporter, even though I really wanted to. Freaking disco in here now. That freaking statue's up here. What are you doing out of your position? Huh. Are you trapped in the statue? Is that why you're screaming? You want me to get you out? Well, I'm afraid I can't do it. I need to get a hammer. Something's going to happen this way then, because I can't go back that way unless I go downstairs. Oh, that was me. I don't know, there's nothing, nothing in here, is there? Go back downstairs then, I suppose. Can't do anything with you, can I? Can't walk around you. Oh, check my phone. Did you enjoy the song? No. Do you remember what happened to your family? The screaming you can hear. Can you hear it? I'm lying now. Oh, you can actually turn around with the thing. Error. Where is she then? Show yourself, wench. I demand to see you. You're in my house. You're not paying any rent. You're wasting all the electricity. 
I think it's time you leave, Buster. Oh look, now that what you've done, done, you've made a right mess all over the floor. Leaving letters all over the place. Did you knock on the door for you? Locked yourself in, you stupid bitch. Well, I can't, I haven't got a key. What does this say? Oh, I've got so many letters to read. I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'm only 15, but Mum and Dad are driving this whole painting thing in a little crazy. They keep asking to paint for hours and hours and hours. It's not even something I'm passionate about. I really like playing the violin, but I'm not really great at it. But it's really fun. Both of my parents are really pushing this painting thing. They quit both of their jobs just to pursue it, because it apparently makes them a lot of money. They never even asked if I wanted to keep doing this. I guess I don't really have a choice right now other than to keep painting. Maybe I'll ex make an excuse or maybe I'll try telling them no. I wish they would pay more attention to Marcus too. He puts on so much effort in every everything and he always does really well in school. It was Christmas the other week and he had some fam he had a family and we had some family over. Marcus just looked so gloomy, so alone. Nobody even got him a Christmas present. Besides me, anyways. It's like he doesn't even exist to anyone else. I feel terrible. Also, Dad has been drinking a lot more lately. He, me I mean, he's always had some drinks, but he's doing it more and more. He gets scary sometimes. Lilith. Right, well, I'm supposed to see this woman, I suppose, now. Oh, get it off. I hope she shows up, because I need to go to the toilet in a minute. They never do anything useful, these ghosts, do they? Apart from chase you. Run around making noises. They never, like, walk into a room and catch them, like, doing the ironing or something. Pay your way, woman. That lemon slice on there. Suck on one of those. Right, well, I'll go back upstairs then. Something, I bet that statue's moved or something. Can't open this. Yeah, statue's gone now. I knew it. Oh. <laughs> the key that I saw two hours ago. I can finally pick it up. <sighs> I'm coming in. What's been going on in here then, eh? Another letter. Music's playing again. God, every note is exactly the same length as well. Strange. I hate painting. Mum and Dad want me to finish one piece a week. Takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day for me to meet the quota on top of going to school. I tried to tell my dad to slow things down, but he wouldn't listen. Today, I tried to stand up to them. I tried telling him that I didn't have the right colour of red, so I wouldn't be able to finish the painting. Even though I did. So he called Marcus down. He grunted. So you don't have the right colour of red? You can smell the alcohol on his breath. He stunk. He took Marcus and he was started it in him until blood started dripping from his nostrils and eventually his lips started to tear open. He threw Marcus to the ground and continued to beat and kick him until he was a bloody mess. He took a can of booze and poured it over Marcus and walked out muttering to himself or muttering something. Mum just turned a blind eye. She started cleaning up the blood. Marcus sat there unconscious for a bit, <laughs> sat there unconscious, and I helped him up from his to his room. He didn't say anything, and all he did was smile. 
He had a wide grin on his face and I stayed with him until he fell asleep reading his book about cars. Lilith. It's not water by the way. Oh. Veer. Oh, I did that. I thought my torch was flashing. Oh. What's this on TV? Dunno. Looks like paintings on a wall if I could try and make that out. Oh shit. You're back again, scuffing up the carpet. You don't frighten me, statue. The only thing that frightens me about you is you ruining the carpet. God, it's like a strobe light. I'm gonna have an epilepsy fit in a minute. Oh shit. Christ. She's in the bedroom. She's waiting. There she is. Where are you going, my sweetheart? Don't be upset. She turned into a letter. What are you up to? Music's changed. Death. Death of two. Two bodies were recovered after a fire erupted inside a suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night as neighbours were uh, the ones to report the accident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be two, a brother and a sister in their late teens. The two were home alone while their mother was on a business trip. <gasps> The brother was going to a high school and also worked as a part-time job as a grocer uh, a gro uh, at a grocery. <clears throat> How the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked off, knocked over, could have caused the tragedy. Officials have not ruled out foul play as a call as a cause, but aren't suspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. Unbelievable. Oh shit, bollocks. Why is she all shivery? Is she coming closer to me? Or is she... <laughs> no, she's not. Or is she? Oh Christ, she is coming close to me. Quick, get in here. Get in here, quick. Oh shit, door won't open. Ah! I thought she was just dancing. I, I gotta go for a piss. Piss break. I can't hold it. Hopefully I won't miss anything. <coughs> What's going on now? Eight nine two six four. Eight nine two six. What's that? What does that mean? What's that for? Eight, nine, two, six, four. Did she just rape me or something? Eight, I'm on the bed. Nine, Why am I on the bed? Six, four. Eight, nine, she was dancing all erotically, and then four. she like charged at me, and I guess she must have forced eight, me onto the bed nine, and two, shagged me six, con four. unconscious. Nine, two, six, four. Okay. I don't know why I have to pick my flashlight up again. 
I'm immediately going down here. Oh. Oh, so there's a picture there with a number on it. Um, oh. Um. That's six. So if I see a picture with eight first, which is, there's a picture here. Can I turn the lights on? Where's the... Pitch black again. Oh, here we go. This is eight. Eight. Let's get these lights on. It's too dark. Ah, oh, she persists to waste electricity, water, and whatever else she can. What's this? This is. Oh, I did that ages ago. What's that highlight for? Okay, this one. Nine. Eight, nine. I think I remember actually where they are. Two is up here. Two. Oh, there's four. Two is in. Was it this one? Was it this one? Wasn't it? Oh, sorry. Six is. And then four. I don't know what's going to happen. Luckily, I wrote down the password for this. Eight two nine nine seven. Attempt number eight nine two six four. I did that, as far as I know. Oh. Let's open all these. Maybe something's happened. Maybe. This doesn't oh it does open, there's nothing in it. This is weird. <sighs> oh, this door's open now. This must have. This wasn't open before. Can I close this door? this read it then uh oops something smashed oh what am i doing i can't move today i woke up and i can't really explain it but my right hip just feels extremely stiff i tried to get out of bed but i can barely turn my body without feeling pain my parents took me to the hospital just in case uh, it was severe or life-threatening but the staff seemed to be clueless as to what i actually have they said they will need to do a complete x We'll need to complete further x-rays, possibly even use an MRI in order to verify the diagnosis. Diagnosis, hopefully. I won't have to paint or anything. Oh, 
I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in a house with Marcus, but for some reason he always was afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream because in a way, I felt like it lasted forever. Lilith. Well, these fell over. Is that what that glass smashing noise was? The painting of blood. The screaming, the crying, can you hear it too? I can't really read that. I don't think it's important then. Ah, oh, it's not gone knocked all the pictures down off the wall. Let's get all these lights on again. Downstairs that has to be where the new occurrences have occurred. Oh, hang on. Check these while I'm up here. Let's go downstairs. Let's check out what's going on. What surprises she's left me now. Oh god. There she is. Is the sound coming from that picture or is it coming from somewhere else? Sounds like it's coming from that picture. There's question marks everywhere. God, there's these letters everywhere. Oh, to walk to the Walker family, we had to f we had some difficulty in regards to diagnosing your daughter's specific condition, but we have concluded that it is fibro fibrodilysis of physicians progressia <laughs> progressia. It is very rare, but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified, ossified, basically turning into bone. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body that results in the condition. There are treatment options to slow down the process of the condition, but admit the future looks fairly grim. In honesty, this is what will eventually happen. The disease will spread throughout the body until most of the soft tissue, including tendons, ligaments, and even the muscle will become ossified. Uh, the most we can do is provide medical medication in order to relieve the pain, but other than that, the condition has always been fatal. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40 if she is lucky. Please let us know what your direction you would like to take. Thank you for your patience, Dr. Gammon. Dr. Fish. Another no. God. Oh, she's there, I think. I only just found out I could zoom. Can I read this note, or is she gonna do something to me again? Oh no. Oh, I picked up something, um, but I've already read that. She going here? <laughs> What's the matter, my love? Where are you? Are you waiting in the bedroom for me? Now, what do I do? Is my phone still working? So error eight two nine nine seven keeps turning all these lights off. Can't 
come on. What now, for God's sakes? Shit. I clicked on that and the door shut. I don't know if she shut it or... Oh no. Fucking door won't open now. I knew it. Yeah, door won't open. Can't shut these. Very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. <sighs> Can I go out? <laughs> Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Lilith's talents, her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the walkers to become financially stable. I've already read all this. Lilith's art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs, as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 a piece. I can't turn this off now. Buyer. <sighs> Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. Can't skip it. It started off with Joseph burning Marcus with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly, the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or Ooh, What am I wearing? After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Oh, God. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. 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 What's gonna happen now? I can't open the door yet. Oh. I had first steps. Come in. Is she gonna burst in? Come on then, open the door. I can't open it. I've tried. <laughs> Do I have to, uh, turn the light off, maybe? Let's 
It's the only thing it'll let me do. Whoever it is has gone away. God, we're stuck in this room for ages. Um, my parents gave me news, so I have a, this condition called fibrodysplasia, osficians, basically it's a condition where my soft tissue, I read this and I, no maybe I didn't, um, No, I didn't read this. Um, so I have this condition called blah, blah, blah. It's a condition where my soft tissue, ligaments, tendons, and muscles gradually turn into bone. They said that eventually it will lose mobility in my arms, legs, neck, everywhere. Until I need to take a caretaker to basically do everything for me. Right now, I feel, uh, I feel it is in my arms and torso. For now, I just sort out of stay in my bed. That's why I'm reading these things wrong. The English is bad. It hurts to walk around and I can't really exercise or damage my body in a way or else it will speed up the process. I mean, I'm often 15. I'm only 15. So this is a lot to take in knowing that I'll slowly become more and more immobile. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? I wish that I could stop painting or that I wouldn't have to do any more. And this was the answer I received. The best they could do was prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now, there is a good chance that I won't be able to walk and I'll be in a wheelchair or worse. I just hope my family will be stable without my help. I'll be pretty big burden. The other day, I overheard my parents arguing. My mum brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault. Lilith. Well, Lilith. The bigger question right now is who is this woman walking around moping all the time? Is it your mother? Oh shit. Someone just ran. Where are you, woman? Running around the house. What was that? I picked up something else. She was some sort of bone disorder, basically. Her body keeps becoming more and more immobilized. She is paralyzed. Process takes a while and continue to get worse and worse. They seem very worried about it. As far as I was, I wonder what will happen. Mum and Dad were screaming at each other the other day. I've never seen him argue like this. It was a time there. I had a wide grin across my face. I watched the spectacle. My parents have been trying to find work ever since they heard the news, but only my mum has ever been able to find a job with her old employer. Dad hasn't had any luck. This is quite an unfortunate situation. I did a bit more research on the condition and seems incurable. Parents seem like they're in a state of panic. I've never seen them like this before. Frantic, scared, and unstable. I've never seen more excited in my life, Marcus. Well. I'm sick of reading letters now. I feel like I've read a Stephen King novel whilst playing this. Oh, Jesus, another one. Christ almighty. My mum showed him the divorce paper and it was livid. He'd never seen my dad and furious. His blood shot was absolutely uh, powerless against the decision. He kept taking beer bottles and smashing them against the kitchen table after he heard the news. Uh, she then she was tired of having to just, him just drinking all day and not contributing to the family at all. I left a little surprise for him in the car. You'll find out while he's driving. Well, for now, I guess it would just be Mum, Lilith, and I. She asked me to get a part-time job since we'll need the money to help with Lilith's medical expenses. I don't mind working even though I'm still in high school. I 
pretty busy, but I guess I'll be alright. Deal with it. Da, da, da. Doctor the other day examined my shoulder. Turns out I've torn a rot rotator cuff for a while now. But uh, thanks, Dad. I guess everybody gets to deserve. Oh, my mouth's dry from reading all this. Oh, shit! You trollop. No warning. By the way, she just runs and then just nothing it happens afterwards. She doesn't like give you a hand job. Oh. oh my god. This literally is like someone got a Stephen King novel and just torn the pages out and threw it all over the place. It's been hard. It's been hard the last year. I've been working overtime almost every week at my new job since the divorce just to cover everything. Lilith, well, she was bedridden and relied on Marcus for about everything. Marcus was attending college and working at the same time. I went on a business trip for about a week and I didn't get the news until I came home. The house caught fire. I was told that Lilith died a horrific death, burning alive in the flames consumed by her. They said the fire started in her room, most likely the candle was tipped over, the neighbours, they said, all heard was a haunting scream like an animal that knows its death is approaching everything, is gone, my kids, my house, did I deserve this, I was blinded, my greed, I'm a horrible person, I let my son be abused for years, just uh, forced my daughter to paint and make myself money, I guess Joseph got some... I can't read any more writing. Turn that fucking music off! Drive me out the fucking wall with it. Oh, it's on the radio. It's a mighty big cross on the wall. Very haunting music. Oh, so I can't go upstairs, I'm guessing. Something has to happen down here. See if that statue's gone now. Yes, it has. You, 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 you. <laughs> Look at her, dancing away in there, waiting for me. I'm stupid, don't you, woman? But I will come to you. Oh, she's gone. I saw a slight glitch then, like she did disappear. She's in the computer room, looking at porn. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I'm not reading it. 
I'm sorry, I refuse to read it. Don't tell me I have to read it in order to get out of this room, though. Probably. Oh, shit. Where's this music coming from? The computer? Oh, no. What's that? Should turn the light on somewhere. Is that in the bedroom? Oh, I can't leave still. I can't turn the light on either. You can't leave. She won't let you leave. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Jeez Louise. What's she gonna do? Which room is that? God, is that the room on the left where she's going to? That's this room. Can't really see. It looks like she's going for the door. Come on, then. Oh, shit. Oh, sh shit. Come in. Where are you, woman? Playing these silly games. Walking around the house. Flicking lights on and off. Leaving notes all over the place. Knocking on doors. Locking them. Playing that bloody music. Don't know what your game is. But it needs to stop. in there. What's that noise? What's she up to? Doesn't sound very happy, whatever she's up to. Oh, is that door open? No. I'll leave her be for a minute. Still can't open it. Oh. Beat de journey. Alright, close then. I can't get in I can't walk into the room with that door open. It won't even let me close it. Oh I can just about get round. Oh, is that a police looks like a police siren light flashing out there. Oh shit, everything's getting purple. Oh god, now it's red. Did I take drugs or something? Holy Jesus. The nightmare has just begun. Shit. 
Well, I guess I've got to go. She's not near, is she? Oh, there's another letter. <laughs> Stop reading these, like. Oh. Oh, it's you. How do I pick it up? Let me just see what this last one says. This will be the last letter I write. Oh, thank God for that. I can feel my right hand becoming immobile and stiff. <laughs> it's because you wrote so many fucking letters. Mum left a couple of days ago, and it's been up to Marcus to take care of me. Even though he... Oh, God, this music. Even though he visits and have been getting shorter and less frequent over the past few months. I understand. I'm just a burden to him and my mum. <sighs> He hasn't checked up on me f since she left. I've tried everything, knocking and banging on my ha hand against the wall and screaming. I mean, oh, good advice. I mean, that's all I can really do since I'm practically immobile. Sometimes I get my hopes up hearing him walk up the stairs. Just maybe he'll walk through the door and check in on me. Did I deserve this? For not standing up to my parents and letting them, letting all this happen. All of this is my fault. I'm sorry, Marcus. I promise I'll never be a burn to you ever again, Lilith. I thought she'd be hanging from the light then. She swept. This music's good. I like this music. Where are you? Where's the bloody light switch gone? She's stolen it. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can't do it. What does it say? God is dead. Oh, shit. Shit, can I, um... I can't move. <sighs> I knew she was going to do that as well. See. Oh, still in the game. Back in the closet again. What is that dripping noise in here? Please, I hope she's in the shower naked at the end, sitting in the bath. God, she said that was the last note. What's this then, eh? Scotch mist. Last note too. Life is pretty quiet, to be honest, right now. Between school, work, and stressful, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, how's it? Uh, uh, I mean, sometimes it gets eerie quiet. Oh. Something, something, streaming. Oh well, uh, strange dream the other day. The police report: both bodies were recovered. So quick, quick, quick! The young woman was dead at the scene. After performing something would attack me, and I would wake up. That the fire led to her death. To wake up, but real also I found thought it was real. After waking up so many times in the eternal dream. What officials think occurred was during her final moments, as an act of desperation, she lit a candle inside her room and started to fire herself. Her younger brother, Marcus Walker, might have neglected her to such a degree. She chose to end her life to ease her suffering. Emotions ran
ranging from jealousy, hatred, enviousness, and frustration might have drove him to neglect her, despite her cries for help. Due to her rare disorder, she was extremely immobile and required help for the simplest activities. She required Marcus for everything. Marcus might have held animosity towards her, as for almost his whole life, everyone had paid their oh, attention dear. to her. Perhaps Marcus wanted her to feel isolated and alone, an emotion he was very familiar with. He wanted vengeance for a crime she didn't commit. Marcus's body was mostly unharmed, so he was not conscious at the scene. He was taken to a local hospital, where he currently resides. He is currently in a coma induced by smoke inhalation and has been unconscious ever since the fire. Let's have a look around the room while he's yappering on. He will ever wake up or what he is experiencing. nothing at all, or he might be suffering. The only living relative he had was his mother, Mary Walker, who committed suicide shortly after she heard about the incident. His father, Joseph Walker, was killed in a suspicious road incident where his brakes stopped working while driving under the influence. Due to his unusual situation, no one is left to decide whether or not they should keep him alive in his coma. Many may wonder whether he regrets his actions, whether he regrets neglecting his sister, starving her, and psychologically torturing her to the point of suicide. Others speculate that years of domestic abuse by his father Joseph, along with neglect from his family, left him psychologically scarred. God. Whatever the case may be, he tortured and isolated his sister. His sister, who loved him, and did <sighs> everything necessary to protect him. Hopefully all members of the family get what they deserve. In Marcus's case, he's stuck in his own personal purgatory. Stuck in a place between life and death, an eternity of suffering awaits him. Thank you for listening. This was Joseph Walker, bringing your local news to you. Oh, crikey, oh, blimey. I was going to say, if you took out all the... <laughs> Do I help her? Can I shut the door? No, I can't. Oh, she's coming towards me. Oh. That's the end. The survey has been complete. She's gonna have to sit there and cook like a marshmallow. I'll stay in there. God, well. There you go. The survey ends. Oh, she's still coming at me. Am I still in the game or something? Oh, I can still move. <laughs> uh, do I have to let her touch me before it goes to the... I wonder if she'll crawl in there. I can't see now. Bloody... Hang on, is this the main menu? I'm going to see if she's actually crawled into this room. If I can. Oh god, she has. I can see just at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, she's in there. Touch me. Yeah, she's there. I am walking on her, walking over her now. <laughs> Is she on fire still? No, oh, she's still crawling. I don't know where she's going. Anyway. There you go. The survey. Oh, my ears. That was pretty good. Um, just there was a lot of reading involved, though. A lot of notes. If you took out all those notes and all those parts where you got locked into a room and have to listen to the TV or a radio, you'd probably finish that game in like 10 minutes. But uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, kind of reminded me a little bit of uh, Infliction, uh, kind of like a rip off of that almost. Not as good, but uh, yeah, it was decent enough. I quite enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, you know, subscribe. 
all that stuff. Click the like button and the bell and all that bollocks. Uh, and I'll put this, uh, I'll put all this information in the description. So if you want to try it out for yourselves, feel free to do it. It's from Steam, uh, so you can buy it off there. And um, yeah, that's it. See you in the next chapter. At ease, soldiers. <laughs>